What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. Listen, happy Thursday. Got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion. You know how we do it here on the channel. But before we get into that, please, please like, share, and sub. No particular order, and all of that is free. One more little thing for you. If you don't mind, please let the ads run. It helps the channel, just like you viewing these videos do. Thank you. Much appreciate. Gratitude, gratitude. Now, let's get into this. What we're going to talk about today are 10 fragrances from my collection. And again, this is privy to my collection that are just different. Outside of the box, not your run-of-the-mill scent profile, not your run-of-the-mill fragrance. They're all, in my opinion, in some shape, form, or fashion, different. And no further ado, let's get into it. Hmm. From, uh, make sure I'm saying this right. From the house of Zaharoff. And I have a few Zaharoff fragrances and they're all really, really good. Royal X. And as you see the levels on this one, I've tried to give this one a decent wearing. This is not my favorite fragrance. It's not. But it is different. It is amon, am, amon, animalistic. It is uh, musky. It is different. It um, resembles somewhat of a body odor, so to speak, in a good way. It's not the worst fragrance that I smelled. It's different. It's different. And if you if you like different and you want to smell that way. This is the type of scent for you. It is um, just like the rest of Mr. Zaharoff's fragrances. High quality, well made, and definitely very thought out. Just not for me. Now, the purpose of this video was about fragrances that smell different. And this definitely smells different. It's either hate it or love it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. it. It's a scent. It smells good. It's just not my type of scent. You know, it's, it's just not. It's just not. But you may like it. And part of my job or the job that I've taken on is to tell you about fragrances that you may like. And this one is about fragrances that are outside of the box. And this is definitely outside of the box. Royal X. I think it's Royal X. Yes, Royal X by Zaharoff. Okay, where do I go next? This next one is outside of the box. And it's probably the least talked about fragrance from this house, from this company. The house is English Laundry. I've done three or four videos mentioning this fragrance, and the fragrance is Royal Aqua. Now, this, to me, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's slightly playful. You do get an aquatic accord, but it's not strong aquatic. The, what I get from this the most is a nice, smooth, wearable, slightly rose floral type of note. And I like it. I like it. This was the very first fragrance that I actually purchased from English Laundry. And I was like, and when I saw it, I was just like, hmm, English Laundry. I didn't know they made fragrances because I had a few English Laundry t-shirts. So I was like, didn't know they made fragrances. Picked it up, got to the car, couldn't wait to spray it, sprayed it, and it smelled amazing. And then I started seeing the other English Laundry fragrances and was like, okay, yeah. And of course, this is in a totally different bottle um, from the rest of the English Laundry line. And it's in a totally different box as well. No coffin style box there. But nonetheless, this is a different type of scent. It's definitely outside of the box. Again, slightly floral, slightly watery, but good. Okay, this next one is, again, this is a fragrance that not everybody is gonna like. It's not, it's just not. It's from the house of Azaro, and it is simply known as DB Decibel. 
There you have it. Incent, 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 incent. Dare I put this on? Yes, I'm gonna give myself a spray for you. Strong incense. The best way to wear this, in my opinion, is one to two sprays max. You wanna keep it easy, keep it simple. What you get with this bad boy is an overload of incense. Which again, if worn properly, can be a good smelling fragrance. It's challenging. It's not going to be for everybody. But somebody's watching this going, man, I love Decimal. That's a good fragrance. And it's not a bad scent. It's different. It is, it's in its own lane. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. I don't see a lot of reviewers talking about this fragrance, but it is definitely different. It's very strong, very pungent. And it fits the word different. The D in this could be for different, but DB is short for decibel, and that's what we have in this. From House of Bizarro, it is decibel. Not a whole lot to say about that fragrance. Heavy, 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 heavy incense. Yeah. Let's talk about this one. This one is a good one. This is a really good fragrance, and this is a really great house. Um, the house is Happy Land Studios by E.J. Wells, and it is Cure Cafe. And you see the levels on this. It doesn't take better spray of this. I mean, E.J. stuff is super, super potent. And this is like going to, I work at a grocery store. This is like walking down the, the coffee aisle of a grocery store. I mean, it is super, super, super potent. But it smells good. Coffee, coffee cakes, maybe some, a little bit of a gingerbread vibe mixed in with the coffee vibe, but nonetheless. This juice right here, man. Super potent, super potent. I mean, three sprays of this and you're good all day. One of the last times I wore this, a lady kept sniffing me and sniffing and she's like, man, somebody's got Something smells good. What is what is that? I need that smell in my house, is what she kept saying. I need that smell in my house. What is that? Somebody's got like a potpourri or something, and I, I was like, I think it's my cologne that you're smelling. She's like, nah, nah. And then she stopped and she was like, maybe it is. And I was just like, I held up my hand and she's like, that's it. That's it. That's it. It smells good. Very strong, very potent fragrance from the house of Happy Land Studios. It is Cure Cafe. I think EJ still makes this. I know EJ is still pumping out. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> that smells good, man. It just smells like a nice coffee break or something. Um, but you can find EJ Wells at either Happy Land Studios. You can Google Happy Land Studios or you can go to Happy Land Studios on Facebook or you can just look up EJ Wells on Facebook and get in touch with him that way and get yourself some of that. It's a really good product. This next one is a fragrance that I don't really hear a lot of people talking about. It's an odd name for a fragrance for men and it's from the house of Armani and it is Imperial Diamonds which is a, you know, you don't hear men talk about diamonds a whole lot but give myself a little squirt there <sighs> okay this just smells different to me it, it's it, it many people would call this scent profile dated okay and I get that because when we talk about the 90s we were talking about a long time ago you know what I was in my prime But I think this is a very nice, let me hit myself again. Very nice fragrance. And it's one of those fragrances as well. I don't really have anything in my collection that smells like this. I don't. I used to see this all the time at TJ Maxx and it was even in different packaging. Mm. Slightly fruity, clean 
masculine is what you get from this. Not in a barbershop type of way, but just a nice, clean, masculine type of scent. Absolutely beautiful. White t-shirt, white button down shirt, and some really nice jeans and some nice shoes. Um, elegant, classy. I got my boy Manny on my mind, elegant. But it's just a nice, easy to wear fragrance. But it, at the same time, it has such class and such regal appeal to it. I like this fragrance. I really, really, really do. And it could be unisex. It could be a unisex fragrance. It could be, I could definitely see a woman wearing this fragrance, but nonetheless, I don't hear a lot of talk about it. It's outside of the box. I don't see a lot of reviewers picking it up. I just don't hear much about it. Imperial Diamonds from Armani. That's nice. I could see me wearing this to a nice wedding. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, you know, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Ooh -wee, this next five I got. This next one at one time was all the talk in Fragcom. But we move rather quickly and we will forget about a fragrance and just, and I hate, excuse me, and I hate that we're that way. Anyway, enough rambling. From the house of Bokari, which is one of my favorite houses. It is Bokari Black, AKA the hockey puck. And I like saying that, I like saying Bokari. That's a nice name to say. Now what you get with this bad boy, it's too challenging for a lot of people. I like it in the cold. Yeah, what you get is that, that black rubber you get that that tar that rubbery smell from it and you get some sweetness you get a lot of sweetness I like it I think it's a very well made fragrance I think if one, much like the decibel if worn the proper way these fragrances smell good you have to think company's not going to sit down with the perfumer, with the research group, do, do research, spend time developing a fragrance that they don't think is going to sell and that they don't think is going to smell well and that people are going to like. Nobody says, you know what, let's make something that stinks and put it in the yeah, that No, that's not how it works. Yeah, that decibel is really starting to smell nice. Again, it's just one to two little squirts, which is hard for a guy like me. It's hard, y'all. It, it's just hard. But that's one of those fragrances that you cannot overspray. You have to temper your sprays on that one. And the same thing with this one. Nice fragrance. Again, you get that sweet, that spicy, and that rubbery tar effect. This smells good. I like it. Maybe a little lavender. <sighs> but nonetheless, from the house of Bulgari, it is Bulgari Black. That decibel is growing on me. But again, it just it just was one. And that Imperial Diamonds is heating up. Okay, moving along, moving along. This next one. Some people say it's a... Uh, clone some people don't i like it for exactly what it is and it's from the house of our moth and i guess it's from the lux line and it is craze and let me tell you you don't need but two to three sprays of this that is it strong beastly and it's a clone of perfume de marley's slayton i want to say i want to say it's Layton. it's cloning battery going dead um, but what you get hit in the head with this one with is tonka bean and vanilla not not tonka is it tonka bean no almond not tonka almond and vanilla and on some people it comes across as different on me it comes across as very leathery on some people it comes across as very sweet I get a almondy 
leathery vibe from it. I like it. It just doesn't take but just a little bit of this, a little bit of this and you are But for $30, I think you get a high quality fragrance and I think you get a gem of a fragrance that smells good. And yeah, I think this is one of those from Armoff. Again, they almost messed it up with this tacky bottle, but nonetheless, a good, ooh. Got a whiff of that uh, Bulgari Black. That, uh, yeah, that Imperial Diamonds, man. Really, really clean, really elegant. It's almost wanting to put me in the mind of, uh, what is that from Perfumes, uh, Perfumes to Marley? Give me a minute. It's not, this is supposed to be. Maybe Leighton, it maybe reminded me of Leighton. Nonetheless, it smells really, really good. It smells really expensive. It's a very light fragrance, a very light projecting fragrance. It's not one that's gonna fill up a room. It's a very gentlemanly type of scent. It's gonna sit close to you, but you're gonna smell nice and expensive. I like it, I like it a lot. Now, again, back to Craze. Yeah, that's just, it's, it's supposed to be a clone of Paul Fumes de Marley. I wanna say Layton, but to me, it's worth purchasing on its own, not because it smells like something else, because it's not a one-to-one. -one. It's not. Um, but that almond mixed with that vanilla gives it a nice, creamy, leathery, easy accord. Super, super performer. Super performer. Um, outstanding longevity, outstanding projection. Nuclear. I mean... Be easy on the sprays of that. All right, I got three more. This next one, I don't understand why it wasn't more successful, why it didn't get any more love than it got in the fragrance community. I think because slightly or shortly after this fragrance was released, um, you had fragrances like One Million, One Million Lucky, One Million Privé, One Million Cologne, and all those, and then you had several from the black, from the XS line that just kind of took off. So black X's kind of got overshadowed. And I picked this up at Burlington Coat Factory on a steal, and I was so excited to see it there and get it. I think I paid like $18. And this is one that performs decently on my skin. It's extremely playful extremely easy to wear and I think the mistake that they made was not marketing this as a unisex fragrance. I think if this fragrance were to drop today after the success of stuff like Baccarat Rouge and uh, well, how do you say that from, from Zerzhoff Herbapora Herbapora or whatever you know the one I'm talking about and then God of Fire all those fragrances have the peach and the mango at the top. Well this is strawberry this is a strawberry vibe, but it is really, really, really good. Easy to wear. Oh, this smells good. That smells good. And then people are gonna say, oh, it smells synthetic. Of course it does. It smells like strawberries in a bottle. I mean, what do you what do you expect it to smell like, you know? I like it. I like it a lot though, but I also like the smell of strawberries again I'm a cashier at a, at a grocery store so when people buy fresh fruit strawberries it's one of those fruits that I love to smell the strawberries and when we have fresh cut watermelon or pineapple that stuff smells so good you know when I'm ringing it up but nonetheless this is one that I think could easily be a unisex fragrance and it's outside of the box you don't hear a lot of people talking about it especially nowadays and it never was really all that popular to begin with, but this is a fragrance that I think, again, the keyword, if worn correctly, will get you some compliments and get you a little bit of attention. It's very youthful, very playful, and the, the main accord here is that strawberry note. It may come across as too fabric softening, 
if that's a word to some of you people, but to me, it smells good. And again, put this on with a nice hoodie. Ooh, can't tell me nothing, man. Can't tell me nothing. Put this on with a nice hoodie or a nice sweater or a nice sweatshirt and, and some nice jeans and hit the, hit the scene. You're gonna be smelling good with this. You're gonna get yourself some compliments. That is Black Exes by Paco Rabanne. Man, down to two. This next one again, to me it's a great scent. I always go back and forth with people about whether Lalique is niche, whether it's not. In my opinion, it's niche simply because I go by the very basic definition of niche and that is it's not designer. That's to me a niche fragrance. I know some people, you know, feel like, well, it has to be abstract to be niche. Some people feel like it has to be expensive and to turn the pinky finger up to be niche. And some people don't have an opinion at all. Some people don't care. I don't care whether it's niche or not. But in my in my book, in my opinion, Lalique is a niche house because they do not make apparel. I think somebody, I know they make ink pens and, uh, crystal wear and I think maybe watches maybe watches but still that's not like buying a t-shirt like Calvin Klein and Tom Ford that's the definition of designer polo Tom Ford uh, Tommy Hilfiger that's the definition of designer that's that's what they're known for fashion but Lalique Ancre <laughs> Noir Lackstrom this little boozy Spicy, leathery, different smelling joint here. And this is a fragrance that's not for everybody. It's not, guys. It's not for everybody. Oh, man. That smells so good. Just different. Just a different vibe, a different energy. Leathery. It kind of gives me the same vibe as Craze. It's a little bit leathery. A little bit sweet. Uh, just a great smelling fragrance. Now, I wouldn't dare wear this in the summertime day. If I did, it would be at night. But nonetheless, I think this is a great smelling little fragrance here. Again, a little sweet, a little leathery. Very aggressive, very masculine, but at the same time, very different. Not everybody's going to wear this fragrance from the not so niche house of Lalique. From the niche, not niche Lalique. I'm going to put him right on back right there. I like that fragrance. That's a good one. And you can get that at a relatively good price as well. Okay. Last but not least, I think this one. To most people would be niche, but I think I think Mason Mason Margella does some form of apparel. I think he's a fashion designer. I think. But from the house of from Mason Margella from the house of Replica. And this is another one that you don't hear a lot of talk about. And it is Whispers. Whispers in the library. And look at that juice right there. Look at that juice. Let's try to oh man. Just got a whiff of that Paco bar and that black hexes. That's nice, guys. That's nice. I ain't got nowhere to spray. I'm going to find the spot. Boom. Didn't take but just a little bit of this. And this one, man. It is unisex. It is unisex. Boozy and cozy are the two things that come to my mind when I smell that. A boozy, cozy fragrance. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Boozy, cozy goodness right here. This one is hard to find though. So if you if you see this, you may want to pick it up. And look at that honey. It may even have a touch of honey in the notes. Oh, I think it does. I think it does. As, as a matter of fact, it kind of reminded me of what's the one from um, Insurrection Pure? What is it? Dark. It's dark, right? 
It's either dark or wild. One of them's in the red bottle, one of them's in the brown bottle, but it kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, a little bit of honey. Boozy honey goodness is what this is. I like it. From the house of Mesa Margellas replica, it is Whispers in the Library. That is 10 fragrances from my collection that are gonna have you smelling a little bit different outside of the box. Listen, thank you all for sitting through this video with me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, y'all, y'all know the drill, man. I love you all. I really do. Without y'all, this channel would be nothing. So uh, please continue to be active in the comment section. Again, please continue to share these videos, like these videos all of that. If it's anything you want me to review or any topics you want me to cover, also leave that in the comment section as well. And I'll do my best if it's an area that I can, if it's something that I know about, you know what I mean? Um, with that being said, also, I've got a few fragrances on the way, just waiting on them to get here. I think I've got one, two, three, four, six. I think I've got six fragrances on the way. So we'll see. We'll see. Can't wait till they get here so I can show them to you. One, two of them. I'm really excited. Well, I'm excited about all of them. But anyway, we'll see. All right. I love you all. Yeah, I got to go. My battery's getting dead. I love you all. And may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.